Hey, it's Jess here from Nigesta.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I've got a little treat holder here for you. Nice little um, thin treat, easy to go through uh, the post. And um, you open it up and in here, just a little, a little herbal tea bag. So this one is three ginger. And so I chose... Um, uh, cinnamon cider and this lovely uh, DSP, um, which is, I forget now, it's uh, Beauty of the Earth. So I thought that went really, really nice with it. So I'll be making these for sending out to um, customers. So I thought I would um, make some more with you now that sort of slips behind there to hold it in place so nice and simply does it so for this one because i've got leaven ginger and manuka honey um one i'm choosing um this color combo so this is from the sweet symmetry um, paper pack and, and I'm picking out the Just Jade there to go with it and so I thought that would go quite well with this um, with this tea bag so we're going to cut our cardstock so we're going to cut it at three and a half so the tea bags are roughly two and a half by three so we're going three and a half by seven. So you get nine. So you get three of these out of a sheet of standard cardstock. And I'm going to cut my mats now. So I want them all to go this way. So the tallest one is two and seven eighths. So we'll go there, two and seven eighths. And they're all two and three eighths wide. So we'll go there, two and three eighths wide. And then we want another two and three eighths wide the front but this one wants to be two and five eighths deep which is there and then we can't use that one because it's going to go in the wrong direction so we'll just cut seven eighths just for the flap Look very straight there, and that is two and three eighths wide. So come down there, two and three eighths there. Definitely not very straight, Jez. Yep, that's the one for the flap. So, move this lot out of the way. Oh, I might have, do need a bit of scrap. So, that's all our bits. So now I'm going to get we simply scored in. So we're going to score at half an inch and three inches and then we're going to score at two and three quarters and then two and seven eighths and then five and seven eighths and six and we are going to score again um, 
at three eighths, but just down to that first score line there. And on there, three and an eighth, just down to that first score line there. So that is all scoring done. We are going to slice up and take out these two side sections there. So I'm going to cut up that score line with my long scissors on both sides. And then I'm going to cut across Take it out. And then we're just going to notch in here and here. Like so. And then we're going to fold and burnish all our bits. So that's just an eighth of an inch. So fold that over. Just gives us a little bit. little bit of gap there for the tea bag is just slightly tricky with such a small measurement. But that's what makes our little our little pouch like so and then that doesn't feel quite as sharp as I'd like it and then we're going to round these top edges because I like them to look that way So nice rounded corners. I'm going to keep that because I want to round the DSP as well. So that's ready to go on there. And we've got this one to go on there, which we're going to stick it on before we punch out the half circle. So, put a bit of Tombow around that, and it's cut with ever such a small margin. That was how I wanted it. Oops. And then I'm taking my inch and a half circle punch and that is my little 
my little circle there. Stick this on. And then this one wants to be on the back like so. You could, of course, leave the back one off. You don't need to decorate the back if you choose not to. I think it looks nice. Finishes it off. And then we just need to put glue down these two side edges to glue in place. I'll just put the film folder underneath. Do a tear that like so. And then we just need to do the closure. So a cup of tea means a bit of a relax. So I'm using the relax from in the moment. Got a nice big relax there. So I need just jade and I need a scrap of whisper white, basic white even. And you can mask it off with a bit of masking tape, which I'm going to do. I wasn't going to, but I didn't last time. But knowing my luck on camera, it will go peak tong. So put a bit of masking tape over those words there that we don't want. And ink it up. Peel off our masking tape. If you have Stamping Right markers, you can use those to uh, to go over it. There we go. That worked perfectly. And then I am using. Don't need that anymore. The double oval punch because that relax fits really well inside there. I'm going to cut it off a bit. I don't want to uh, just forgetting how it uh, how the punch goes. So need a post-it note. Or just a just a bit of an arm. Let's have a little bit of an arm. I like to have some some rubbish tape. There, and I can hold that in the right position. Where I want it. Perfect. Get rid of that. And then we just want to cut. I don't think that bit's big enough, is it? Nope. So I'll just do over there. And then those two. And stick together there we go I'm going to put my little tea bag in there just fold it slightly Just going to put a bit of this on the bottom. Center this. It's 
so there's just a little gap there. Don't take long to dry, Tombow. Use that bottom a little bit. Get rid. Must have had some on my finger. Oh dear. And then that just slips under there. To hold in place. And that is my little tea bag pouch. Quick, simple, easy to bolt make. Got quite a few to make. And um, that's it. Hope you like that. All the measurements and everything will be over on nigesa.co.uk. And um, I will link down below to all the products that I've used if you wish to purchase anything. And I think they're really cute little treats for sending someone okay bye for now